you've obviously de uh, said it as bloodletting. Would you like to describe to our viewers what we specifically mean by bloodletting? Bloodletting, uh, I think, is the best word, uh, formal word to use for what we say as the rituals which we um, cut or allow blood to pour out of our body in remembrance, in mourning, in grieving, and to feel the pain of Abu Abdullah al Hussein. Yeah. Uh, such rituals are, for example, tatbir, where we, you know, we strike the head with, this, with a small knife. And also Zanjir Zani, where we have chains with knives on the back, which are swung on the back. And also, to an extent, the chest beating also can cause skin to burst and to, to blood to come up from there. And another ritual, which doesn't really, it's not really bloodletting, but the walking on the fire, which is another ritual which is right. probably misunderstood. Right, can I, before you start, I yeah. mean, I, I, so for the purpose of the viewers, ignorance of myself, who've, who's never done this, um, explain what what you person goes through hmm. when they're actually doing this ritual? So, with the bloodletting, let's say we, 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 we'll focus on the knives for now. So you have tatbir and you have zanjir zani. Tatbir being a, a knife known as a qama, even the English call it a qama knife. All right. um, and the idea is that you dress in white and um, you walk around and strike your head uh, with the knife to cause small cuts uh, to allow blood to come out, to give you a, a sense of feeling of what Abu Abdullah went through and also what Imam Ali went through when he was struck on the head uh, by Ibn Muljim um, And one would do this as a communal, um, you know, a, a gathering uh, event where they will go together, they will recite poetry, they will recite uh, the Masaib of Abu Abdullah while striking their head with the sword. Is it quite a spiritual uplifting? Do you really feel I, I, can I yeah, just shed a bit of light on that as well? Because what he was saying was, was absolutely correct from the technicality of it. Mm. But mm. what I hear from, from people who actually take part in the, um, in the acts and what it makes them feel. Mm. Because, number one, there's two areas. There, there's two places that people do. It's either in Karbala itself or it's within their homes, mm. uh, within their communities. And the whole idea is wearing white resembles the 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 kafan the, kafan, mm -hmm. the chafan. so you are ready to die for imam hussain and many a time we always say in the majalis ya laytana kunna ma'akum fa nafuzu fawzan azima so we we pray and we wish that we were with you on that day mm -hmm. because imam hussain salam on that day he did he called out to the people you know hal min nasr yansuruna is there anyone to help her we understand that this call wasn't to the people there it was to the to the people the the call was to resonate throughout time and space um, uh, and to transcend time and space to reach the communities of this day and age, right? Yeah. And, and to answer that call, there are, you know, people answer that call in many different ways. You can answer that call by writing articles. You can answer that call by doing many different media or social uh, actions. People, other people want to answer that call by the way that Karbala um, uh, uh, played, played out or happened, a full-on war. So people actually died, and there was blood, and there was there was you know there, there was a lot of bloodletting, shall we say? Mm. So to associate themselves with with what actually happened, to feel some sort of pain, they almost dress in a way that they would the, that the people of the time would. So the swords and the white kefen and the sand beneath your feet. It's almost telling Imam Hussein, I am ready, and this is the way I want to repay the faith that you've given to me. I want to repay my, um, you know, I want to pledge my allegiance in this way. Mm. So. A lot of a lot of the controversy surrounding that is oh it's barbaric and everything but in es in essence everyone that returns to Imam Hussein or everyone that wants to connect to Imam Hussein will connect in their different ways um, but I'm sure Sayyid and has do you has think do you today. think um, people obviously you've spoken to who do this um, achieve that goal hundred percent 